bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Through the trees, you see the beautiful uh, Hotel Solide cresting uh, over the hilltops. Cresting over the hilltops? Yeah, I think that's that sounds like a right thing to say. Welcome back to Hotel Magnate. And I am nothing but if not a completionist. I know it doesn't seem like I'm not a, com I'm a completionist on the channel because I have so many unfinished things, but I swear I am going to finish them. And I think that's what's in store for us today here in Hotel Magnate. We have had so much fun working on our hotel and exploring the gridless placement and all of the options open to us. They continue to release things. There's some new material. There's some new stuff out here. Uh, I haven't really uh, noticed too much new stuff on my end like that I've unlocked. There's this fancy bar here, which I feel like... I haven't seen before that looks it feels fairly new and it feels very fancy uh we also have the new uh where's the catering so there's some new uh, uh prep stuff cook cook kitchen cooking stuff this stuff like uh same kind of vibe so we could actually make like a really um old timey uh, hotel, right? Like, um, there's a lot of hotels near me in the out in the mountains uh, that are kind of almost modeled after old school uh, hotels, right? So they have like a chateau feel. So we could go for sort of a chateau vibe if we ever wanted to, you know, redo this entire hotel. Let's do that today. Let's just sell everything and start again. <laughs> um, I know the menu does it let you do that, but we're not going to do that. No, no, but I'm just talking about in the future, we could do something like that. So, uh, but in the present, what we need to do is look at our options here. I think in the last episode, I said that I wanted to start a, uh, get a spa going. Unfortunately, I can't do spa. I can't, I don't unlock the spa until five stars. So we're getting there. We have a couple more reviews left to open the spa, but instead I think we're going to finish this off with a casino and then we'll get another bedroom here. So like, let's wall that off and kind of figure out what we're doing with our lives. I almost want I almost want a slightly different situation here that allows us like can I what if, what happens? Hear me out. What happens if I do something like this? Uh so that that's like access to uh, that cuts off more space though, doesn't it? Yeah, we almost want it to come down a bit or something. Uh, remove that wall. We almost want it to come down into this area. Basically, I almost want a doorway here and then have a bunch of casino down here. But the other thing we could do is actually make this uh, the room. Like, this whole thing could be a, a real fancy room. Then in here, we could have our uh, casino. Or, as some might say, our casino. Um, I don't <laughs> I don't think that's a thing. Okay. So, here we have our door entrance here. We could even have a little bathroom come off of this and then a whole bunch of space in there for our casino, uh, bath our, our, our bedroom. Or is there a way to have our uh, degloons and eat them too? What if we do like a... What if this is curved? Do you know what I mean? What if we go like something like so? We're going to get rid of that. Then we go from here uh, all the way up to like, you know, alt, hold alt down and kind of... I guess we kind of need that though, don't we? Okay, so then we can grab the curve tool here. Is that not the curve tool? Curve tool, right. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot for a second, and then I unforgot. So forgive me. So the cur curve tool could come out something like this, or whatever. And we could even do the same here. Or oh, what if the whole thing's curved? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I want to do something here. Let's make this our uh, midpoint here. Like basically, the I, the the question is, where do we? How much room do we want for our bedroom and our casino? And then w you know, w uh, which one's which? And I kind of feel like this is almost a better casino. But it's like, what if that was the casino, you know, floor plan here? So then what we need to do is just get into our... Uh, that's not enough bedroom space, though, is it? It's just because of how far down this goes. Unless we did a hallway across, a full-on hallway, we could get, like, another little bedroom in here or something. And I do notice that we only have nine beds. We're about to have ten beds, which is a very small uh, hotel. We only have seven folks in at a time. So I think that's going to mean that some of these amenities just don't fill up. But that's also something to leave something to be said for the fact that, like, uh, we're still making quite a lot of money. So I'm not sure if we're actually supposed to have way more guests in this hotel. You know, I don't know if you've watched Tavern Master on this channel, but like Tavern Master had like 6,400 people walking by the tavern every single day. Whereas this only has these seven guests. So we're not even maxing out our guests. And I think that's probably due to a couple of, I've got a one star room with a, a room with a PU here. Uh, how much is the, how big is the casino thing? Entertainment, poker table. We could honestly make a small casino in here. 
See what I mean? We could get a small casino in here, which would be weird to not have near a bar, though. We almost want the casino in here with a bar in the corner. So we could actually do that. We could move this bar over and then put the casino room in here. Then that keeps us, uh, frees us up at least to have two bedrooms here. And at which point we could then have, uh, we got to have our door, of course. What if it comes out to here, right? Okay, I think we've broken this wide open. Here. <laughs> there. <laughs> Is that an equally divided pie? I think we finally figured it out. I think we finally divided this pie correctly. And I just want to see if a curve makes any sense at all. I don't think it really does. Unless we do like something like... Like that, apply, and then we do a curve here. Although this is going to be hard to do any design work with. Apply. Like, we won't be able to hang any photos up there or anything. It's kind of fun. Now we do need to make sure there's room for a bathroom in here. So our door entrance is here. Then we have our bathrooms somewhere in this mess. And then in this guy, the uh, the door can be like here even. We put the, bedroom, the bathroom right here. So let's put the bathroom. Oh, no. In my desire to just, uh, you know, bring this episode to a happy conclusion, I've accidentally really, really painted myself into a corner here. Uh, duplicate that uh, one here. Um, where are my wall? What are my ho my ho ho hotel hallway ones? With the white frame. I kind of... Oh, no, wait. That's not... Where's one with, like, a bedroom? Here we go. I think it's the same as the... That I just copied over for that bathroom. That's Okay. So we're going to go uh, shift. Oh, sorry, control, but whatever. We'll just duplicate it. Yeah, it was control. Okay. So that gets us in there. Then we have a little bathroom, and then they walk around this pinchy corner to get to their uh, the actual bedroom. I think this could work out in our favor to end up with like just like nicer. Can I like recurve this wall a little bit? Nope, I can't. It's been curved. It's done. Okay, we're just living with it. So that's like a bathroom. Hopefully. Hopefully that's big enough. Now, this area is going to need a bathroom, but where do we put it? Uh, here to here? Oh, it could be, the curve could follow, right? So it could actually go like... Okay, it goes to here. Then there's this wall here, right? But then this wall itself also curves, but it follows the curve... There, I turned my, I don't know why, but like a dog, I turned my head on a total like angle to see if I'm doing this right. Okay, great. Okay, so we can put a desk here. I should really put a door there if I can, but I don't, I don't think I can. I don't think it'll fit on a curve. So we could either put a desk here or some other sort of artwork or something like that and then get that door there. Or we put the door, no, we should put the door here. Uh, because then we can put that desk here and then like, you're not going to, we're not going to get any furniture in this spot right here. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm getting really into this. This is feeling good. Except for this one curve wall, I don't like that it bows out a little bit. I want it to, to bow straightly. <laughs> you heard me. Okay, let's work that out. Oh, no, there's going to be a lot of deleting. Should I have done that? No, I, did. I, I didn't really think this through. But here we are. We've committed. So I think it's going to be like that wall, right? That's the curve wall. So that curve kind of meets a little bit. Maybe just like make it a little more rakish. Just a bit more rakish. I, ha I feel like that's left a fairly small space there, but we can get our desk in here. Let's make a small uh, five-star bedroom there. That's what we're going to do. Just a, fall, a small, very highly rated bedroom there. Can I control? No, okay. All right. So we'll get that there, and then we're going to... Oops. Uh, uh, okay. Duplicate this thing. That's silly. That's all silly. Yeah, we'll just do that then. And duplicate it here again. Perfect. Okay, so we got a lot of windows here in our five-star room. This is feeling much better. I kind of want to delete this so I can make this hallway, uh, you know, just a hallway. Uh, for which I do need to find and copy everything again, don't I? Okay. Well, that's all right. So let's get this hallway matched up. Um, and then I'm going to... No, we're going to design these bedrooms here together. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's another bedroom here. That's another bedroom here. Ensuite bathroom. Ensuite bathroom. Okay, that's good. 
This is all that same. This should be just hallway. Okay, good. All right. There we go. So the final wing of our uh, hotel is going to be built today. We're going to decorate this a little bit, get a bit of a casino going on, and then we're going to bid adieu to our uh, beautiful, wonderful um, uh, cash-earning hotel here. Uh, so I think the first thing I want to do is let's just uh, flash through these uh, bedroom creations and this hallway finishing here. <laughs> Okay, so the bathrooms are done, and I've opened up this hallway here, but I also discovered a few things. Um, so check out this new feature that's put in the game. Uh, I love that they're just updating us with new features. This is really great to see, but we finally have the sample pick color. So alt-clicking will tell you... That was a little bit weird, but it'll tell you... Okay, so let's pull out our tool here. Oh, that's no good, but if we alt-click here, we now have pulled up a copy of this wall. If we go to the floor, we can do the same thing. Alt-click here, and now we have that carpet everywhere and anywhere we want to put it. So that's a really cool feature. And another thing I noticed uh, that it asked me to do was upgrade certain things uh, for a certain amount of money. So if you click on a wall lamp here, this I feel is a new uh, mechanic here, which is the upgrade this item to two stars for 200 doubloons. So I hit this, now it's a two star place. Uh, you know, it, it keeps going up, of course, $800 to get to four star. Let's get a five star light. We can't afford a five star light. We're not allowed to make that a five star light. But now we have the ability to take crappy objects that are kind of low, like these are two and three star, um, you know, decorations. Well, now we can make them three star decorations. We can make them four star decorations. And we have a warning, our bedroom is not functional, that's fine. Um, so this is just great to know in advance, knowing that I can, I assume it also gives the customer a buff as far as like their enjoyment of the space. Unrelated, but I think this is one of my favorite bedroom designs and I've got to remember like, especially with that slightly, you know, reddish pinkish wall plus the, the green of this stuff matching the little bathtub uh, blanket I put under there with the lighter tile and lighter floor with the wood trim and everything. Are you kidding me? This place is very... Um, dare I say chic. So now I just need to make a bedroom here and a bedroom here that will actually live up to the expectations of that bathroom, which is really nice. If we go into the uh, walls here, I think we'll go to plain colors. Not much new there, but we do have some new walls right here, some new ones here. And I like these stripy boys. I kind of think those are uh, funky. Uh, maybe that one could actually be good for... That's just brick. Uh, maybe this one actually could be good. We're going to make a commitment. This room is that color. Actually, no, wait. This room is that color. And then there was another one I wanted to show you here, which is new. All these kind of like... This one here is giving me some Star Citizen vibes. Maybe it's just because I'm obsessed with the game and I'm playing it a lot, but... Uh, this one's a little more... Eh, see, these are kind of fun. I like these. But I'm going to go with this smaller one here. But first, let's... Ooh, yeah, it's just that green. Ooh, I like that. Especially when you walk into that bedroom and see that. Okay, so these are going to be some so wanky uh, four and eventually five-star rooms. Let's go into our bedroom here and see what we're going to do. We have not used... Oh, here's a new bed unlock. I don't have that just yet. But we're not going to... Uh, shabby double bed. Oh, I see D. Let's get those out of there. Let's get that search. Get that search thing gone. Okay, so we're you know uh, we're not gonna put in a crappy bed here. So let's put in one of these. I don't think we've used one of these before yet, have we? With these square kind of things. So if we place this here, I think we can just drag this guy with the move tool. Maybe we can get it really close into there. There we go. X X. There we go. That's kind of funky. The yellow isn't terrible. We could stick with that for now, and then just see, uh, how, you know, how we feel about that as we move on. Let's get like let's get our things in first before we get too carried away. Now we don't have any other options for nightstands, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to put these guys in, and they don't quite fit either. I, I wonder if oh actually we could use this new mechanic. We could go furnish. We could grab this little side table, this dinky boy, click on it, and sure enough, boom! Now that's a four star. So it's like oh no, it, it, like they're like oh our bedside table looks crappy, and we take we go look at it. And we're like actually no, it's rated four. So this is a four star table. Look at Hotel Magazine says, you know that you should be happy with it. You should be happy with what you get. I wish I could get that closer in there. Maybe this is couch area. Maybe our bed has to go somewhere else. Seems like that's where the bed should be though. Okay, well let's move it forward a bit, I guess, to justify the placement of that. Oh, it just seems like a waste of space to have the bed like that. But that looks a little more correct with this uh, end table placement. Barely. It looks barely more correct, but the other one I don't think is going to get in there today. 
<laughs> hey, we're not getting that one in there. Okay, well then that, I guess what that says to me is, no, if you're in a hotel, you kind of want the end tables to to fit with both. Okay, what about, what if we do something like center it on this window? Surely we should be able to get these end tables in there. I think I can just use the move tool to shove that in there. Planet coaster style, you know what I mean? Oh, is it not fitting? Yeah, make it fit. I wish Sims 4 had some of this. I think it does if you like hack it. You gotta hack. Which I'm not opposed to. I just, you know, don't really know how to do it. I never thought about that too. I, w I wonder like, you know, with some of these games where, you know, the modding community, when the modding community was born, they were like, oh, it was born out of a necessity of like, oh, we can actually just make things better uh, in terms of our the game that we love to play. And I, that never occurred to me. <laughs> I was always just like, oh, well, I guess I'll never be happy. I just totally forget that, like, if something is made by humans, it can be modified by humans or ruined by humans or made better by humans. And here we are playing these kinds of games. I don't know if this one's moddable yet, but... Okay, so over in this corner... Yeah, we've kind of hampered ourselves a little bit. Let's get a desk over exactly where we knew we were going to put the desk. Let's get that desk over here. What kind of our star options do we have? Again, though, we could just take one of these and make it uh, a four-star desk. I don't hate that one. It's a bit bulky, though, isn't it? But it, you know what? It's bulky, but it's stately as well. So we might get that one. You know what I really want is a coat rack right there. I wonder if a coat rack exists. Let's go all, and then let's search uh, coat. Unless it's, you know, called something else. I don't think it exists. That's okay. We What we could put is this is kind of fancy. So we get one of these lamps right in the corner here. Uh, give that a little, uh, the old uh, X. There we go. Okay, we're going to, honestly, we're going to need some rugs to break things up in here. And I think these folks also probably want a wardrobe. And they're going to want, um, like, a, you know, a TV. Probably you know, watch some TV in it. So this wardrobe, yeah, see, and it kind of fits the style too. I gotta say, I I like how I like how I'm, I like how I'm feeling in this room. If I'm being honest with you, okay, this doesn't want to be here, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna exit, do something a little like this, bring it all over in there, grab hopefully the right tool. Ooh, that's bad, isn't it? I like that it like yeah, I like this upgrade your hotel thing. Now, I don't think that means I can upgrade the actual full hotel just yet. It must mean upgrade, you know, the individual items. Now, I feel like that is sort of denying the actual shape of the room a little bit. But when I look at it, the feng shui of it doesn't bother me. Realistically, it should be wide open. You should have a chair just in that corner. Okay, let's see what else. What are our options? Put one here. And then we can put a couch here and a TV or something in the corner, maybe. And then, like, let's do that chair idea that I just brought, I just came up with myself that made me have to move it anyway. We could do a chair. We could get a chair and a mini fridge over there or something. Where are my chair options? Couches. They're called couches? Nope. Double couch looks kind of... Here's the thing. It looks gross, but we can de-gross this, I think. Because, yeah, this is the wrong color scheme for this room, 100%. Now, I wonder if we can do color picking off individual things here. Okay, so customize the colors. Uh, is there an alt click? No, oh, I wish. But what we could do is go into here, edit object colors. I think it's that yellow. So let's alt, alt click there. And let's grab that blue maybe and save that for later. Okay, let's see. Can we do anything with that? Customize the colors. This color, first of all, a little better already. Okay, how about this though? What if this color is more like a white? Yeah, you know that's gonna be a no for me, dog. But I, I like, <laughs> I like where I thought I was headed with that. Okay, so let's go with this. Uh, the green. Let's go into. The, let's kind of try to match the. You know, the wall a little bit here. It's a very, like, low saturation green. That's almost kind of getting there, to be honest. And then what if, hear me out, we're going to get that color and bango. There we go. Now, I think it should be darker, but I think that's kind of getting to the idea. That's kind of getting to the heart of what I wanted to see here. Okay, let's go. Let's call it that color. There we go. Uh, It's fine. It's fine. You know, it's not perfect. 
but here we are. We're having a good time. This I like. Uh, I wouldn't mind changing one of the colors to be that green as well. So if we change the pink, if we change the blue, that's going to be just that. Okay, so let's change that to that kind of green. <laughs> I don't know about that. Listen, do I always hit, you know, hit the mark? Oh, no. I changed the wrong thing. Delete. Here's what we're going to do. We're not going to try to get back there. Okay, we're not going to try to apologize for my mistake. We're just going to place another one. There we go. We're done. It never happened. Everyone's happy. What about a sectional? This feels like the right spot for a sectional right there. I love it. I feel like whatever age this is, this is like the 70s or something, there still should have been, you know, a, a, a TV that you put on the wall. But maybe there's no TV in this room. Do you know what I mean? Maybe this isn't a TV room. Let's get that to match. Let's get this green to be not that color. Let's get it to be, oh, like a dark green or something like that. Let's get these pillows to be like a white. Put some green in it. No, nobody wants like puke green, you know, pillows. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, it's clashing. It's clashing. Pull up. Do you ever get that feeling when you're... I mean, I don't know if you also are doing YouTube videos, you folks out there, but, like, there definitely gets to be a point where you're playing a game, you're recording it, and you're like, this is going out to people. I have got to defend my choices here, and this is not uh, very defensible right now. But that's okay, because we fly close to the sun to show off how we can, you know, kind of pull out of the spiral. I don't hate that. I don't hate that color. I wish, you know, those bottom pieces could be brown, but uh, we're just going to kind of leave that as is. And uh, <laughs> I'm kind of forget what we did there. We're just going to forget about that for a second because here's what I want to do. Put in some more plants, put in some more objects, and then let it, uh, you know, inform me what it should actually look like. Okay? We're going to get there with this thing. There we are. Dun, dun, dun. Is this one of my worst rooms? Yes, but here's the thing. We're going to tie the room together with some ruggery. Uh, where I can't find rugs. I guess they aren't in things. They're just like on their... They don't have their own... They should, though, mind you. They should have their own... Oh, no! Rug. Enter. They should have their own, you know, space. Now, remember, I can't change the color of these, so I'm get, I get pretty hampered by my... Rug! Okay, so you can't... Yeah, I, I guess you're going to lose it every time you click on it. We're going to have to, like, really decide here. That blue one might be as close as we can get to a good, you know, rug option. It's this this off green is not ideal. I think what we need to do, then, is really push back on our on our uh, color decisions here. And, and be like, okay, well, what are we matching? Like, let's make some decisions. So this is a green. I don't know what green that they think that is. That's that pink is, like, this kind of trim here. Which we might as well just copy that anyway, just in case. Let's see what we could do with that. Because maybe this could be that color or something. These pillows could be dark. Uh, like, back to that idea of the wall. Kind of match the wall a little bit. Honestly, I feel like we're starting to get close to something that's going to work. Um... Like, even that's kind of okay. It's sort of like a tri-tone thing. And again, I'm talking like a designer, you know? And the thing is, let's let's realize now, I'm not a designer. I'm just making a hotel room. Decoration, probably a dead plant on here, just to reflect how I feel right now about this uh, the whole building process. <laughs> Those are some nice ones on there. They deserve nice ones. And they deserve a lamp in the corner. It'd be nice if it matched this kind of yellow bobble one, yes. Good, good, good. Okay, this is feeling good here. Furnish, uh, bedroom, television. I don't see a television going in here. I don't see one going in here, but I do see a mini fridge, especially because of how small they are right there. Kind of just getting shoved into that corner there. There we are, a little mini fridge next to that. Okay. A little bit of artwork on the wall to tie everything in. We're just pausing while it saves for a second. And I think we've got a passable room. It doesn't quite strike strike the same, you know, nerve as this one, which I was pointed out to me looks like bugs. But, I mean, there is a bit of a funky aesthetic uh, to this game, to be sure. Gosh, I wish we could just change that to a 
to a more green looking uh, rug. I mean, I don't know, rug wise, was there something a bit more green? There's these ones, but that's the wrong, that is not the green I'm looking for. That is not gonna work for us. Okay, so let's just get some deco rations on the wall and let's move, you know, on with our lives. I think, oh, I think that windows, like the wall, yeah, these would be kinda, oh, I wish you could, I wish you could. Actually, we could probably do this though, couldn't we? Yeah, so that blocks everything there. Oh no. Not only does it block it, there we go, there we go, okay. We actually can, yes, I forgot, we can, okay, so yeah, does it fit on a curved wall? No, it doesn't automatically let you place it, but decorations are a little funky that way in that you can kinda have your way with them. Whoa, wait, yeah, let's leave that, that's cool, that's funky, that's funky, I like it. Okay, let's duplicate it. Duplicate it here, then X, Move it down here, bring it forward a little bit. Then grab the that rotation tool. Oh, fun. I mean, it's, yeah, it's okay. Like it's, you know, the idea is fun, right? That's what, and that's what we're after. We're just after fun ideas. I wanna really break open this hotel and figure out stuff we can do with it that just like sets us apart from other hotels. Because, you know, you go to a Best Western and it's like, oh, they've just got a mirror on the wall. That's cool. But, hey, have you ever been to that hotel where they set the mirror into the drywall? You ever, you ever been to that hotel? No, because you don't have money like I have money. It's kind of a funky design idea. I don't know. I like it. Okay. Um, people are going to think I had too many things to drink. Uh, making this. Oh, there's the rug feature in decorations, by the way. Uh, let's not forget that in the future. Not gonna look good. The colors are all off here, but also there is like, you know, the uh, nighttime is falling. Um, so let's get like one of these here and its friend next to it. That's kind of nice. And yeah, a coat rack there would have been perfect, but we don't have that. And then I just want, I really want like, you know, so I'll just put that there. I just really want some like a nature painting right there would be nice. Okay, so that's one room down. Let's put some lights in there. Uh, we've got those two lamps, of course, but uh, what else do we have lighting-wise? I think we have the one ceiling lamp, which is also the same kind of balls. So we can put that over here. And maybe one right in the middle there. There we go. Okay. Is the bathroom a more successful look? Yes, I think the bathroom is quite nice. This room is funky. It's a funky modern thing, but I think maybe I just didn't know what to do with all the, like, the clashy plastels. Plastels, you heard me. And I think maybe even we could we could do one last thing where we take a look at the walls here, our wall options, and then see if we just throw it like a totally, you know, a different wall and see if it speaks to us at all, right? Like, you know, like, you know, start speaking. Uh, but I think we might have to leave it. I think this is, I think, ooh, funky. Funky, if not a little bit, like, stressful to look at. I think that would be stressful in a room. What about the stripes? Maybe the stripes? Almost. There's like a yellow or stripe, I think. Maybe that one? No, oh, it's bluer. Yeah, I think, okay, we're going to leave it. We're going to let it talk to us. If this was a live stream, that would be great because you could all uh, be roasting me in the comments. But like for now, we're going to leave this one. Uh, oh, oh, wait, hang on. I know what I did wrong. The floor's got to tie it in together. This I want it to be nice. It's got to be a... Uh, Patterned, uh, plain colors. It's got to be a carpet, right? There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That was my mistake. I didn't put a carpet to help you know tie it all together. I thought the rug would tie everything together, but it's the carpet that does the trick. I'm really tempted to just go with something like that. It really just breaks it all up nicely. Let's see what that cream looks like. That was only 84 bucks to roll all that carpet out. Uh, almost. There's almost something there that I like. I can't wait. I, you know what I would love to do? And, and you know, hit me back on the... Oh, that's a little more classy, isn't it? A little more luxurious. Hit me back on the channel in the comments if you are an interior designer because I would love to get, A, some critiques and then some, like, lessons in how to do a little better. But that's looking pretty good. Let's get started with this one. Now, this one. Got to make it fancy. Of course. But what if we change it up a bit? What do we have for bedrooms? Bedroom items. Like, let's think about, like, what, like, what's that? Look at the size of that desk. That desk belongs in here. Those are the same, these are the same items. But I think, 
Yeah, that would be impossible in there. So, uh, so let's let's exnay that desk, exnay the desk nay, and see what other options are. So we've kind of placed everything else, but now we know we can upgrade things to the max uh, to give people that five star experience. If we just find one that we like, uh, we can do that. Like, I mean, do we make like is this like like basic double bed, but we class it up to a five star, and then people are like, oh, I guess this is a uh, what a good bed is. Because what if this was classy, like so? Oops. Placed right there. Just gonna move that a little more over. There we go. Then, boom, boom, boom. Four stars, right? Then the trim here is. Oh no, that's those are the sheets. Where's the trim? Is that the trim? No, oh, those are the pillows. Let's go white. There's the bed spread kind of like that actually to be honest like a little bit of a bluish and finally I found that so this is like oh yeah come on now that this looks a little hospitally that that duvet the duvet has a bit of a hospital vibe to it but it could have like a royally purple almost to it or something like that that's kind of nice it blends in with the surroundings a little bit too much, but that's okay because we're going to put some float. We're going to put some carpet down there. People are going to really like the place they're staying in a second. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. This is how I designed, by the way. Just a series of yeses and nopes until we get there. Maybe it's tiles. Maybe it's wood. Do we have any wood? We do have woods. I don't know if these are any new woods. That's too country. And, and don't get me wrong. I'm quite country, so like... I'm not insult. No insult to the country folk. I, don't, I mean, I almost don't hate that one. Whew. That half the challenge of these games is trying to find stuff that matches, and I think that's one thing that they could do uh, that The Sims does really well is like, it's like, hey, do you mind if we give you like a set, a design set? Well, c do you mind if we start you off? Cause you're you're a bit crazy right now. What if there's like tile in there, but not the whole room? I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's go back to our carpets. I, it's hard to be too risky. I know we're supposed to be. It's it's it's. I, I'm playing video games on the channel, so I gotta risk it a little bit for the biscuit. Okay, let's go with like a slate, kind of vibe. Right, but then let's we're gonna break it up with items. Okay, and then so this is our guiding light here. This one. And this one, those are our two guiding light colors. And we're gonna upgrade everything to four stars so it just kind of matches. I really like that upgrade tool. And feel free to let me know in the comments, like, was that always there? <laughs> Did I just, you know, not notice? Cause like, for example, this is probably my favorite couch. You know what I mean? Like if we're being honest with each other, this is my favorite set. Although I really like that chair. I like that chair a little better than this one, but we're gonna do this. Control, control. All right, we're gonna go here. We're gonna move this guy over like so and put it on a bit of an angle. Okay, same thing here. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Yes, then we go into this and it's just the two colors, I believe. Well, I was wrong, but still. It's still gonna be the, the same color. And then we're gonna go with that for the black. Yeah, see, and that's gonna match. Oh, I like it. It starts to come together. And I think as a person who knows nothing about design, that's the lesson I keep trying to teach myself is like, don't panic. You know, panic later. Panic later when it when it all doesn't pan out. But don't panic right off the top because you don't know if it didn't pan out yet or not. I like this TV, but we'll also take the lessons of old and we will change that weird pink trim to like a purple trim. Nope, change it to like a black, yeah. Then we're gonna go here, we're gonna go X. Wait, are you not gonna let me resize it? Oh, uh, the rule, the the random rules, uh, strike again. That's okay. So we're gonna do that then, and we're gonna go for like a coffee table or something here. Can I put the TV on the chest of drawers? I wonder if I can put a TV on this. Furnish. Where's that little TV I've used before? This guy. Certainly can. Certainly can. And then this one has the special ability, which I absolutely love, of doing the old resize. Very good. Okay. Now let's customize you into that uh, sort of color there. 
there. Now this thing, can we customize the wood? I kind of want to keep that wood just in case, but let's see what is, oh, fancy. <laughs> relax, sir, relax. Uh, let's go back to that wood and then let's um, do that and then darken that wood a little bit there. Okay, that's okay. As long as we put some other matching wood type things in there, I think that's going to, like, end up fitting all right. Um, put the mini fridge next to that. Then we'll have to match that wood color. And then I think over here, what can we fit over here? Not really much. We can fit the wardrobe right along this line, so let's do that. Uh, with a big old wardrobe. We're going with the, yeah, we're going with this, like, um, Beauty and the Beast uh, wardrobe set again, unfortunately. It's just the one available to us, and it seems to fit with the other, you know, opportunities in uh, in the hardware. What's that bot? What's that gem up there? Can I change the gem color? Boom. <laughs> this is, this is the purple room, which is going to be a problem because, like, when we go to rugs... We don't have a lot of options open to us to uh, offset a purple. Light purple? Uh, that, uh, I don't know. That one's not terrible. This one's kind of like more muted. Let's just like live with this for a second. Move it a bit more over a little bit and then shrink her down just a bit so it kind of looks a little more realistic like it actually goes under there. Okay. Duplicate it. Move it over here. I'm telling you, some of the just the weirdest uh, choices being made right now. But I kind of love it. This is a very eccentric hotel. But that is kind of what we set out to make, was it not? You go back to that first episode and you tell me that I didn't say we were going to make something very eccentric and and interesting and you know s s sleek. Okay, we're missing a desk. What desk do we want to put in here? Oh, I kind of like that couch too. This one, like, I just like these more simple things. That, but this says I like the the buttons in it, like the whatever they call those. I think buttons. I uh, just do have a certain amount of class to them, so I think we got to just go with the class there. Uh, desk wise, we could go with this kind of desk. See what it looks like, and can it go anywhere? I mean, we can't make that fit actually, because you'd push the chair in. One imagines. It's like, what would that look like if it was this wood and the chair was that or something? And then the trim, that blue trim was this purple. It's all right. That'll do the trick. Plant-wise. There we go. Some nice plants in here. I like this big leafy one. It's just really... I think that's an outdoor thing, though, isn't it? It does say outdoor. But I've done it before, and I... Oh, don't... See, but then you go into decorations. I don't know. Okay, that's probably not going to... That's probably outdoors. These are the ones they want us to use here. Oh, I kind of like this one actually quite a lot, to be honest with you. And honestly, like... You know the saying? The rug ties the room together, but oh, man, does a good, a well-placed plant... Like, look at that bathroom. Right? A well-placed plant does the trick as well. And then maybe some kind of wall thing up here. Can I change the color on that? Let me customize. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, let's duplicate that. Duplicate that over to like over here in this corner, maybe. Ooh, or right there. Yeah, okay. Now we do need some, I like I personally need some uh, end tables. Otherwise it doesn't quite feel like I'm, man, those are the only end tables, eh? We just are not unlocking any new end tables. I think if I had to give a review, and again, you know, feel free to join me in the comments. If I had to give a review to this, I would say that, like, for a decoration game, it's going to need to up the uh, number of, of items because we're almost done. Like, we're all, oh, man, minus 23,000. Whoops. We're almost done. We're almost at a, uh, I would say, oh, I forgot about this chair. I love that chair. We're almost at a, at a five-star hotel, right? And we've only got four... And these two are the same set, like just opposite sides of a set. We have four end tables. <laughs> right? So that poses, in my mind, a bit of a problem. Design-wise. Especially if your game is a design game. That's all I'm saying. 
But let me know, because here's the thing. I've still gotten a ton of fun out of it. And I think that's like what, what, what I do with video games is always try to like figure out what is the break even point in terms of your enjoyment with the uh, the content. Um, so Total War, big fan of the games. But some of those games maybe weren't as good and they were $80, right? So that's a problem that needs to be, you know, dealt with. You can put another one like here in the corner maybe. Or another lamp go. I think that'll look better with some artwork. We gotta get some artwork going on in here. Um, you know, and then there's these early access games that are coming along and they're 15 bucks, 20 bucks. And it's like, oh yeah, my break even point is like, I need like four, maybe five hours of enjoyment out of a game. And now in a way I'm like, oh, and not to like shill for video game companies or whatever, but now I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of making money at this point. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, <laughs> that's not that that's true. I mean, I'm still play, just playing video games, but I guess what I'm saying is like, yeah, my enjoyment meter is filled up for the amount of money I spent. Now this is better than spending 20 bucks on going to a movie because the movie's over in, you know, 45 minutes. Why did I say 45 minutes? I knew I, I tried not to say it because I absolutely know it's not movies are way longer than 45 minutes. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. A lot of lamps in this area here. Let's delete that guy. And let's move this one over a little bit. There we go. You know what? Okay, I gotta say it. This room's growing on me. I'm just I'm gonna bre I'm gonna I'm gonna be brave and I am gonna say it. Into this room. Let's duplicate these. Let's get this like more this is like a really, you know, luxurious thing. Maybe because main, mainly because I can't figure out oh. And why did it charge me for that? Or was that green it refunding my money, actually? Um, I can't find anything, like, really that I would want to put here is is the reason I'm just duplicating the chairs. Just to kind of fill out the area. Uh, with the R tool there. Yep. Okay. So that's filled out. Okay, there we go. This room here, big pile of poo. Bedroom. More like the bed poo. Mm. More like the bed boom. Now here's another piece of uh, here's another piece of uh, up update that the game did. We go over here into the finances tabs, and we can actually uh, reset. We can actually like boost how much we charge for the room. Now this is saying two stars, which means we have some cruddy materials in here somewhere that we need to find an upgrade. So let's upgrade that to four stars. Let's upgrade this uh, plant here. Max that plant out. We are spending so much money. We are de galloons in the hole here, but that's okay. We're getting there. We are going to figure it out together. We can upgrade that one. That should be upgraded. So why am I getting a two-star? Oh, because there isn't a TV. Every room does need a TV. Okay, well, that's fine to know, although not ideal. We're going to put this TV right here, and I don't know how bad the footprint is, so this could be a problem, but then we're just going to rotate it. Move it back a little bit. Yes. Go into here. Alter the colors. Which colors do we have that we liked in here? Oh, dear. Now I can't remember what I did. I know I've saved some of them. Yeah, that's not terrible. Nope. I don't know. It's a green TV. There we go. Okay, what's this room giving me now? Now we're at a four-star room. There we go. And this room should... I mean, technically, this should be a five-star room because it's just so classy. Like, this classy Royale suite uh, with cheese, the... Um, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Uh, the Royale with cheese suite. The Royale with cheese suite, I mean, you got you to gotta have a nicer... That's $900, which means I think this one should be also... Yeah, so it's gotten reset to $900. Okay, so that's good. So they've added some new um, pieces in here. They've added some more breakdowns. Uh, recent update did that. So that's looking really nice to see. I really like that. Um, and yeah, I'm liking what that's looking like. This feels good. So those rooms are done. We now have essentially a, a more or less complete hotel. But to cap things off, what we need to do here is uh, jazz up this lobby space because this is like a one or two star lobby space at this point. And then let's do a little bit, just a little bit 
of uh, outdoor, uh, you know, excavating, outdoor design work. Actually, let's do let's do that first. Let's let's do the outdoor design work first, and then we can set about digging out of this massive forty bazillion dollar hole. But you know that can you know that can happen offline because we'll have finished our series by then. And welcome to the super speedy motion <laughs> breakdown of what I was doing with the exteriors. I had a lot of fun uh, kind of deciding what to do, but I, I ultimately went with sort of this curb appeal, right? So we've got the stonework just like out front uh, with that sort of white tile. And honestly, the alt clicking option uh, was so powerful and really made this a lot easier because I was able to like change my mind, change the design a little uh, easier knowing that I could just alt click uh, to get the floor tiles right. Now what I'd love for them to do is add some more Planet Coaster style abilities to like copy out a section of these little uh, border pieces and then uh, move whole chunks of them, like duplicate chunks of them. And yes, I know these are not the same trees. They're not. I realized later these were not the trees. The palm trees are not the right tree for the climate, but I just liked what it looked like. So I just decided to leave it, I guess. And here we are putting in the bollard lights, I guess you'd call, and a nice little sitting area. I think this would be a nice little, a fun area to come catch some alpine rays. A nice uh, minus 20 uh, suntan. And then, of course, you got to have a picnic table there for some folks to have, like, some sandwiches out there. I don't know why I picked sandwiches as the thing that they would want to eat out there. I think in the, in the past we had talked about doing an outdoor dining area, but I don't think that would be functional in this game. So you could do it, but it would mostly be decorational at this point, I think. Then we did the back section here, so this basically gets you from the lobby out to that back hallway, the kitchen hallway, and then also the entrance right off the edge of the patio there for uh, the gym, which I think, you know, that would be a good spot here for like a hot tub or something like that. I'll probably try to put something like that in there. And then uh, more border work. This is like where I was realizing, I was like, man, it would be so great if I could group these. I think I tried grouping them at one point, but I, it doesn't seem like it works. And then if you've ever seen my channel before, you fill everything in with trees. That is how you decorate here on Solid Content. So we've got the casino and bar uh, up and running, but I don't think that that's actually gonna work. I think like this right now is just a prop uh, because I noticed that you can't uh, hire like a bartender. Can I hire a bartender? Bartender. I mean, we should just try. Let's just try and hire a bartender and like see what happens. We're making money hand over fist, even though it doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna hire uh, Eden. Eden, uh, and see if we can get a bartender to work that bar uh, th that there is in there. And then we have this person. Oh, Ed, there's Eden. Got nothing to do. So yeah, I don't think the bar works. I don't think there are multifunctional you know, buildings within the thing. I think this is a casino with no bar. And I think the best thing you can do is what we did in the last episode, which is like have a bar right next to your dance floor and have them in, in two separate areas, two separate rooms like this. But yeah, there we go. So we've got our casino up and running. Uh, might have to get rid of uh, Eden there. Uh, we've got uh, some cheapo rooms here, some crap rooms that we could, of course, improve. Uh, then we've got our fancy rooms. Uh, this one with my absolute favorite bathroom, but probably our weakest room, if we're being honest. This one, really luxurious, comfortable. Big fan of this room. It's filthy. Somebody, I guess, molded in the bed. Somebody decayed in the bed. <laughs> So hopefully that gets cleaned soon. I might need more cleaning staff. Uh, hey, let's do, we're spending money. Let's do that while we're spending money. Let's let's spend money while we're spending money. You know what I mean? These people are still very cheap. Let's get a Wyatt. Okay, let's get Wyatt hired there uh, to do some work because we said we like we're still this person. Becky's making fifty bucks a day. Wyatt's making two hundred and thirty. Yeah, we need. Uh, we need to up those uh, the pay that we're doing here. But the last thing to do, really, before we say goodbye. Oh, and I guess yeah, with the, you saw the intro, the uh, the 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 exterior. Uh, very happy with how that came together. I think that looks really nice. That looks fun. And then uh, out here, this, uh, placing these little framey things, uh, the little like uh, that was that became a problem for me. I was like, okay, that's that's more than enough of doing these little uh, boardwalk signage uh, uh, borders. Um, so over here, I just put some trees down. <laughs> That's a nature walk over there. There's a nature walk over there. This is just to get from the gym to the, you know, like a little outdoor thing. And then this, of course, is a nice area where you can go out and relax and catch some rays right near the highway. So that leaves us with just the lobby here. The lobby needs a fresh coat of paint. I'm going to speed up so we can get some people out of there. There we go. Needs a fresh coat of paint here, and it needs a different, uh, you know, reception desk. So, like, let's look at what we've unlocked. Got this one that we just had. This one's kind of fancy. 
a little too. I want more like one that looks more cabiny or something like that. Reception desk, reception desk, reception desk. That is our best one. That's our three star one. But I want to see this one. It looks like it has a globe or something. Oh no, it's got a little um, like a little uh, what's it? It's got a yeah, it's got a, uh, a, a a lamp on it. Okay, then there's this one which looks a little bit like you know uh, welcome to welcome to the future sort of thing. It's either the seventies or it's the future that with these kinds of desks. That one always feels like that. And this is the two one. Now that one, I like this one. It's classy and it's got not much going on. Uh, but again, I don't know where they kind of stand when I place these, so that's the, the thing I'm concerned about here. If I were to do this, like where would that be? Where would she stand if I put this over back here in the corner or something? Or this corner could work? No, this, they always exit out of any of these corners. So what if we put one here? Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, good. There we go. We got a computer there. So that gives us a sense of like uh, what's going on here. Let's move this over to here then. Rotate it. So that we have a little bit of a uh, thing like something like this, maybe. Okay, rotate it a bit more. Great. Now, here's the other question. If I duplicate this, can I get it to look? Yeah, no, I can't. Okay, so we're going to go like so. And this one we're going to rotate this way. Unfortunately, we can't do like an inverse shape. I would love if they had, like, because they did that with the, um, yeah, 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 relax, relax. You're all mad at me right now, but that's just because they're too close together. But I, I do remember, like, yeah, with the with the end tables, they had two end tables that go together nicely. So maybe, you know, it would have been nice had they given us that ability with these. Okay, let's move this one back out a little bit so it kind of matches up a little bit. So what does that look like? If you come in here, you walk in, and there's the front desk. Oh, I love it. Okay. Great, and then we're gonna move this. This is like the classic, they remember, they got this rug when they first opened the, the hotel. So they're like, no, I wanna keep the old rug. They don't wanna get rid of it. They're like, we should get rid of that rug. I was like, no, I wanna keep it. That's what they said. That's what, uh, what is her name? Uh, old, uh, old red nose over here. Uh, Jeanette, she was like, that was the rug that I've, I've always rested my feet on this rug for long days. She's like, okay, but we're gonna shrink it in the dryer a little bit. Okay, so that's feeling a little more classy already. We can put some artwork on the walls and some and some lights. Let's get rid of these bad vending machines and let's like upgrade this light. <laughs> Ninety, we're almost spent a hundred thousand. I wonder if we're gonna actually lose this game. I I feel like I stopped paying attention to the actual simulation just to kind of enjoy, just to really stretch my legs and enjoy this last episode because I just really wanted. Uh, to, to wrap it up in a, in a in a fun way and in a way that kind of just, I can say this one's done. We can put this series to bed, but in a happy way, in a very like, this is a great game. I'm glad we discovered it. Uh, I guess that's okay. I, I, I want, we need different, you know what I mean? They need to release some more content. Like I need some more stuff. If you don't mind my saying. So what are these, these Ness the Great, an abs and Ness is great and absolutely baller. What is... Did I make that? <laughs> did I... Uh, early access? <laughs> okay, let's put this up somewhere. There we go. Celebrate the early access. And Ness... W I think Ness is great as well. Ness is an absolute baller. I'd love to meet and figure out who this Ness is, but until such time, I agree. Absolute baller. Right here, I think... Yeah, so maybe some vending machines over here, but the nicer ones. Then we need, like... Uh, so many machines there. So many slot machines, pool, babbity boobity bab boo boo bar, bar. Oh, where are they? I can't remember now. Oh, that looks like a vending machine. There we go. So we got these basic vending machines. Yeah, those look a lot nicer. They look a lot less like they just got thrown in. Let's put that next to this maybe. The one there. Maybe just we just need one. No, because we like you're gonna need vending machines. You know, in any in any uh, hotel, even the fancy ones, you're getting a vending machine. What about that one there? Let's move this guy over a bit. Clipping into the wall a bit, but you know, that's okay. There we go, so we got another vending machine there. There's an exit out to the back area. Oh man, this is coming together. This is really coming together here. I'm starting to freak out. <laughs> I'm starting to freak out because I need to clock more finishings. You know, I need to clock more things that I actually finish on this channel. Now we could go fancy with these chairs in here. But I think I almost want to go more basic. Like, where was this? Yeah, this one I said earlier in the channel, in, the sh in the, this episode. I kind of want these. 
So what if we create a little sitting area? Uh, like something like this. Hang on. You, listen, I, you know, I kind of, I know kind of where I'm going with this. Okay. Then, yeah, this guy, uh, move that like to over there. X, X, there we are. Turn this one this way. Oh, whoa. Oh yeah, this is the good track. This is the top track on this of this game here. Uh, let's move that one in there a little bit. Uh, maybe let's get rid of this chair. Move this guy over here. Oh, interesting. I wonder if you can. Okay, let's try this. So, like, if I grab this and move this here, it can't go there. But if I hit X X really quickly, boom. All right. So it does let you. That's interesting. It kind of lets you. Uh, circumvent the, the footprint thing or, or like, oh, I can just slam that chair there. I want to see what this looks like though. What if it's a sitting area like so? Something like this and then this one's here. Double tap X to bring up the rotate. Keep it where it is. Hit M again and I can move it again. Something like this. Okay, double tap X. Tweak, right click to get out. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, let's good we know that. So this, I think maybe we could move this. You kind of almost want it to be there though, don't you? I just don't know if that, if I buy it being there. So you walk in, you see these two couches. No, let's put this one here on sort of an angle, like there. We'll put a little plant in there maybe, and then a coffee table in between these two. Uh, oops, X, come on, come on. Come on now, couch. And I don't think they need to exactly mirror each other, right? That's one thing we learned in this game is you don't need to worry too much or you shouldn't think about like perfection. You should be thinking more about um, uh, just the look. What, what makes it look lived in? Not are these perfectly lined up because the couch invariably is going to get knocked around a little bit. Like there maybe? Okay, there we go. Let's move this over a little bit. Kind of even that out. Okay, good. Now I think, yeah, plant. Uh, a little plant planter pot in here would be nice. There's like a gray one there, right there. Double tap X. Oh, it doesn't always, it doesn't work on everything. Kind of like that one better. And then let's get a lamp in here. Let's get some, I, honestly, I really like, that one's okay. I really like these, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Why can't I find it? These ones. These are actually probably my, I would like this lamp in my actual house. If you like this channel, can some just mail me one of these lamps? If you really want me, <laughs> I'll give you a shout out. If you mail me one of those actual lamps for to, so I can use it in my apartment, I'll put my address in the description below to my house, and then just generally the times when I'm not around. There we go. So we could do that. We could even do like another lamp on here. I really love the placement uh, power that this game has like you can play so much on there eventually there i assume cause, and again it's early access so i assume that they're going to launch a bunch more um you know uh content for this game uh maybe the blue one under here let's see what that looks like yeah i mean i kind of like that and i also am not going to change the color of these couches i think that's the that's kind of a nice co color you walk in here and you're like oh this isn't exactly like the classiest hotel but it's kind of nice you know that that's what I want. That's what I want. That's how I feel people are kind of like, uh, you know, feel about me. Do you know what I mean? They're like, he's not like the best, but he's kind of nice. I like him. There we are. All right. Uh, decoration wise, have we got kind of, we kind of did everything. Oh, you know what? I didn't make a little, I was going to do like a hot tub paddock somewhere, wasn't I? We could do it right here. That could be kind of fun. It's not really near the gym. I kind of wanted to do that, like a little... Okay, here, let's just do that. I mean, I know, you know, this... What is this episode? Like 30, you know, 30 minutes long? What is this episode? 600 minutes is what I should have said. Okay, uh, floor. Let's copy this one. I really like the eyedropper tool. That was a great move by them. By the old dev team. Sell these. Move that one over a little bit. There we go. Now we've got our cell. Now we're cooking. Here we are. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to rotate this guy. Yep. And then I think what would look really cool is if this was... Oops. Uh, sorry. Uh, outdoor. Nope. That's not outdoor. This is outdoor. If it was framed by some rocks. Some rock work. If I double tap X... Nope. Okay. 
So if I put it here, then uh, X, X, move it in, right? Grab the green tool here, rotate it a bit. Yes. Oh, that's gonna look awesome. A little more over, lower it a bit there. Great, duplicate that over here. Rotate it again. Oh yeah, the, every, like if you're gonna, any, I think this should be the law for simulator games in the future, where it's like, listen, I want Planet Coaster, you know, Unity uh, uh, map editor features in any of these games. Otherwise, I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> okay, that was a little bit much. But it's just like, oh, you can really just dial things in here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, we got a nice little hot tub now. I wonder, I hope people use it. An alpine hot tub outside. Very good. Like a decent little lobby here. It's just like, it looks a little nicer. Let's get that back up and running. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, this person is trapped. That's got, that's a bit of a problem. We got some, um, let's move that over here. Okay, can this person get through? Okay, that person can get through. Okay, so it's a bit of a crossroads in situation. Uh, developing up around this person. I really wish I could get a hold of that person though and just fire them. Because I think that's a staff member. I think that's Eden. Eden. Eden? And I don't see them at the bar. So we're going to just like fire that staff member. I feel like that's her. Okay, well now she's fired. <laughs> the game is saving. Now she's fired and not leaving. <laughs> but at least we're not paying her to stand in that doorway for the rest of her life. Okay, well, ignoring it, and let's take one last look at the. Oh, and somebody's using the lobby already. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you do good work, Becky. You do good work. All right, so Edna is. Uh, oh, there she is. There we go. Okay, I did fire her. Uh, fire staff member. Uh, train staff, salary raise, locate staff. Is there anything I can do with her to, like, delete the asset that is her? Uh, locate facility. No. Okay, well, she's stuck there for a bit. She'll Once I resave, you know, it'll probably go away. But folks, uh, you know, I've got uh, a pretty nice looking uh, space out here in the back. I've got these nice bedrooms here. We can see, you know, this was our humble beginnings, right? This is how we started. It actually was even worse in the beginning, right? And and here's where we're at now. Where's this room? Here's where we're at now, all right? Just to, just to say, like, this this hotel has really come together nicely. We're currently 117,000 doogloons. In the, oh, my goodness. Was there a bone flying out of that dinner? Oh my goodness, that person loved the meal, but that was pretty rowdy the way he ate. But it is just so nice to see. I want to get some more ambient noises, like cooking noises and things going. I want to see more of that in the future uh, of this game. And uh, I love the gym. It'd be nice to hear like the radio playing over like from the TV or something like that. This little grandmother suite here is looking really nice. I, honestly, she's really got got me. I'm just like constantly looking at her, but we're going to ignore that for now. It's probably this. Like, what if I move that? No. She's stuck. She's stuck forever. Oh, there she goes. All right. Oh, heavens. I see what's going on. She's trying to go over here somewhere. Hang on. Let me, oops. Uh, like, literally just move that out of the way. <laughs> She's trying to figure out what to do. And I'm just like, lady, just go home. You're fired. And she disappeared. I think I hurt her feelings. I feel bad about hurting her feelings, but honestly, she had to go. We were paying a lot for her, and I don't think that bar in the casino was going to work. But I overall, I think this experience was amazing. I think this came together very nicely. Um, I really enjoy this game. So I could definitely see myself, once they have multi-floor support, I could definitely see myself coming back. I would love for them to uh, sort out um, sort of the dynamic popularity thing so exa example like oh i've got eight total guests how do i get to 11 can i run a, an advertising campaign can i uh do something like do an event or something like that that like draws more people here uh put up a big old billboard on the road like these um so there there's things you can do you know that would be nice to see that added to the game but like i said this is early access and these devs are amazing so i think we're going to see a lot of fun uh come out of hotel magnate I hope you found this to be some truly solid content. I hope you enjoyed this video and all of Hotel Magnate. Here's the top view of this thing. I mean, look at this thing. This is great. This was a lot of fun to make. It's a Koopa Trooper or it's the SCS Lotus from the Space Haven playthroughs. It's a lot of things, but it is not a grid and I'm happy for that. 
uh, this was a, probably a very tough build. I actually really like this curve wall situation in here. I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And I think, um, yeah, I think we learned a lot of lessons in building this thing, but we had a lot of success along the way as well. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed Hotel Magnate. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on this. We're going to see what else is out there. If you're just watching, if you just found this video, like and subscribe, obviously. But also consider grabbing this game on Early Access. I think you're, you will get your money's worth uh, out of the experience. And it's only going to add more stuff from here. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you all in the next video of whatever it is that we decide to play.